Hello once again, I'm Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Welcome to part two of our emergency backyard pole replacement video. The work will be performed by Kansas City Power and Light, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now, since this is part two, let's set the scene. Here's the tree that came down in a suburban Kansas City backyard, took out a fence, took out most of an electrical pole. There was also a transformer, a switchgear, and wires attached to that pole. In the first video, we showed the new pole being set, and here are the linemen climbing up that pole. We also showed a scene of a lineman on the next pole over feeding down wires. So now let's go up on our new pole with our GoPro equipped lineman and he's pulling up the triplex secondary and hooking it onto a roller on the side of the pole here. He will then take what's called a preformed dead end, the wire apparatus there, and connect that to the neutral of the triplex secondary. He's going to connect that to the silver neutral and then use that preformed dead end through the roller, bring it back around and connect it to the neutral of this triplex wire. Now I don't know how much you can see beyond the blocks here, which are ironically blocking our view a little bit, but that wire, that secondary has three cables, one, two black and one silver or neutral. As he takes the blocks away, maybe you can see it a little more clearly. And the next thing he's going to do is tape up that secondary. And now we'll go back to the other side of the pole and watch him pull up a hot lead. Uh, he's going to clip it to the clevis on the bottom roller to start with, just to hold it in place. But he's going to actually attach this to the top roller. They always work from the top on down up on the pole. He's going to clip that in and now he's going to use what's called a grip, also known as a pork chop in the industry. A little inside baseball for you there. Use that to pull this wire or cable taut. This will be very hard to do without the rope blocks. And now he's going to pull that hot lead through the roller, bend it back along itself to create a dead end. He will create this dead end using a parallel groove clamp, better known in the industry as bolties, or a bolty, to create that dead end. And then we're going to see him take the rope blocks off and you'll see they actually use two bolties, uh, two groove clamps to create that dead end. And Now he's going to go ahead and clip off the excess of that hot lead. Now we'll move back over to the first side of the pole and watch him pull through a hot lead from that triplex and he's going to do what's called boxing the secondaries which we're going to see here in just a moment. Here he's going back over to the other side of the pole and now creating the hot link between the uh, lead on the one side of the cable to the other, again using a bolty. And here you see a good example of what we call boxing the secondary. See that pitchfork looking formation? That's what they're looking for up on the pole. And now we're back on the ground watching another lineman fix the connection to the home. The wire that came down actually tore a pipe that was holding it up to the house down and now he's repairing that to make sure we restore service to the individual home. Now we're back up on the pole watching our linemen do the final connections but note right behind them there is a tree service guy who is doing some work behind them taking down the tree that first came down. Here you see him swinging down like Tarzan. Now the final shot is of the completed connection. That's a new pole, new transformer. At the end of the day, power was back on by the time people returned from work. Our lineman worked a long, safe, hard day, but got the power restored. So we hope you've enjoyed part two of our emergency backyard pole replacement video. The work again being performed by Kansas City Power and Light. 
and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you for watching.